draw an emoji you frequently use. Okay, this, this looks nothing like what I want to draw, but this is the crying emoji. This is <laughs> as best as I can draw it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashvin. I'm a senior associate at Kalidas Law Corporation. I've been in practice for about three years now and I focus mainly on criminal law related matters. So I'm here today to answer some of the questions that have been posed through Singapore Legal Advice's uh, IG stories. So let's get to it. Alright, so the first question I have is, how do you find the right criminal lawyer for your case? There are a lot of criminal lawyers out there. There may be a situation where uh, certain lawyers, based on past experiences, don't think that you may have a fighting case and they will tell you that uh, very early on. But you want to find a lawyer that you, that you really trust, that you work with and find someone who believes in your case. Alright, okay, this is a very interesting question. <laughs> will I get caught watching porn? <laughs> okay, um, as, as far as I know, there is no uh, law at present. I mean, I, I may be wrong. When it becomes an offence is if you possess these kinds of obscene videos on your mobile devices or your laptop or something like that. If you do share these videos, then certainly. Do you think murderers deserve a second chance? I, I really think they do. In fact, everyone I think deserves a second chance. Once they go to prison, uh, I, I've seen uh, clients change for the better. It's very nice to see that you know they have grown at least from this experience and attempting to become uh, contributing members of society. Is it dangerous to be a criminal lawyer? Have you received threats? Okay, I've never received uh, threats personally. If you do your job properly and you get your client either an acquittal if he, if, if he is innocent or the best possible sentence if he had committed anything, I don't see any reason why uh, your clients at least uh, would, would come after you, say for example, once they're released. What drives you to defend accused persons and how do you manage your conscience? I truly believe that, that everyone deserves a defence. There are times when, although the act that is committed is, is a very heinous one, that there are legal defences available. For example, insanity being one, or diminished responsibility, or provocation for that matter. And managing your conscience, well, I think it's in the, in the line of work, you do your very best to separate your, your conscience from what you're doing. You cannot always uh, completely separate it. There are times where your clients will give you instructions to ask certain questions or do certain things that you know that you shouldn't be doing. And so you need to be strong and tell your client, listen, then I, I cannot ask these questions. <laughs> tell me you're a lawyer without telling me you're a lawyer. This is my usual outfit every day. I mean, I'm in black and white like this, walking around uh, Chinatown near the state courts on a daily basis. If you murdered someone, should you tell your lawyer that? I always tell my clients, please tell me exactly what has happened. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to defend someone when you only know half the story. There are times where you go for trial, and then at trial the prosecution comes up with, for example, CCTV footage of your client doing it, or a statement that your client has admitted doing it, and then it's very, very difficult uh, at that point in time. Uh, even if your client decides to, to plead guilty at that stage, given that you had put the prosecution in the court through days of trial, um, time and expense, uh, you, you lose a good amount of the sentencing discount that you may get. Ah, this is a very, very good question. What happens if you're being investigated for a crime? Okay, so uh, it all starts with the first information report. This could be a 999 call or a police report made at the station or even online nowadays. The accused person is usually either arrested or called in for an interview. You don't have a right to a lawyer at this point in time when your statements are being recorded from you. Following this, the police will then maybe take further statements from you, further statements from the complainant, uh, any eyewitnesses, they'll go and gather CCTV footage, uh, DNA, send it for analysis with HSA. And once the police uh, collect all this information, they will then uh, make recommendations and this matter would then be moved to AGC for a prosecutor to review the file and to confirm uh, what happens. If they think that there is something there, uh, but that they are maybe mitigating circumstances uh, in favour of the accused person, then they can give a warning. Uh, they can give either a stern warning or a conditional warning. Once the police review everything and uh, AGC, uh, which has oversight over the matter, decides to charge an accused person, the matter then goes to court and then you are formally brought to court. So that's usually how the investigative process works. Promote yourself 
or law firm using five words. Caring, compassionate, dedicated, hardworking, and we never give up. It's more than a word, but yeah. <laughs> you think you can break the law perfectly with your knowledge. You may not notice it, but if you just look up at the walls at times when you're walking around, there are cameras everywhere. And if it's done online, they do have uh, very, very good forensics that are able to extract all the information. Even, for example, uh, WhatsApp messages that you have deleted uh, can be extracted from your phone. Now, knowing all this, I, I don't think I can break the law perfectly with my knowledge. Alright, what do we have here? Three cup flip. That's a three top flip. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's all the questions we have for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. We hope you learned a bit more about criminal law and lawyers. Uh, if you have any further questions, we're more than happy to answer them. Please just DM your uh, questions to Singapore Legal Advice and we'll, and we'll give you a reply. So once again, I'm Ashvin from Kalidas Law and I'll see you all around. Take care.